हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स ग्रो आई होप यू आर वेरी वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बेसिक अजम्पन कंस्टिट्यूट द फाउंडेशन फॉर द यूनिट हाइड्रोग्राफ थ्योरी सो दियर आर सर्टन अजम्पन वेन एवर वी डिराइव दिस यूनिट हाइड्रोग्राफ थ्योरी इफ वी लुक एट द प्राइमरी अजम्पन्स the primary assumptions of the unit hydrograph theory is that the rainfall has the uniform distribution both in space and in time whenever i am saying that it has the uniform distribution in space what i want to convey that there are no variation of rainfall across the basin means on the complete basin the uniform डेप्थ और वॉट वी कैन से यूनिफॉर्म रेनफॉल इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड वेन एवर आई से दैट यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टाइम वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वे दैट द रेनफॉल रेट डिड नॉट वेरी मच ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट सो सपोज वी आर हैविंग ए सिंगल इवेंट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर इवेंट और दैट पर्टिकुलर डी हावर ऑफ रेनफॉल the intensity of rainfall remain same irrespective of the time but if uh, we see into the reality this pre precipitation events are rarely uniform in space and time uh, generally in a catchment a particular portion of the basin experience the higher intensity precipitation as compared to the another portion also the rainfall intensity also vary with time so these are the primary assumption but two important and fundamental assumption on which this foundation of uni unit hydrograph theory lie that are the time invariance and linear response so let us discuss these assumption that what is the meaning of the term time invariance and linear response so whenever we talk about the time invariance what is it mean that this first basic assumption is that the direct run of response to a given effective rainfall in a catchment is time invariant this implies that the drh means direct run of hydrograph for a given er effective rainfall in a catchment is always the same irrespective of when it occurs so what is the meaning of time invariance that suppose in a given catchment a precipitation event occur in the morning same precipitation event occur in the afternoon and same precipitation event occur in evening and same precipitation event is occur in the night so there are four precipitation event that are occurring at various time but whenever we are saying that the response of catchment is time invariance means the rains response of that particular catchment for various time remains same means the uh, value of runoff or the peak runoff is going to same for all of these four rainfall events this implies that the response of a catchment will remain same irrespective of the time means uh, there is no boundary or what we can say there is no limitation for the occurring of the rainfall event because the response of catchment is going to be same irrespective of the time of rainfall event the second major assumption for the unit hydrograph theory is linear response what is the meaning of linear response the direct run of response to the rainfall axis is assumed to be linear this is the most important assumption of the unit hydrograph theory so linear response means what uh, what is the term linear response mean that whenever a catchment is giving run off uh, for any rainfall axis then these two terms are correlated as linear so whenever we say that the linear response of a catchment means we can use the method of superposition method of superposition is valid in case if we assumed our catchment to be linear response so method of superposition means 
that suppose there is a an input for a catchment that, that is precipitation P1 which cause an output runoff R1 and an input of precipitation P2 causes an output of runoff 2 then an input means P1 plus P2 gives an output of R1 plus R2 F means here we are using the method of superposition or principle of superposition because for the precipitation P1 runoff is R1 and for another event of precipitation P2 runoff is R2 if on the same catchment a event of input P1 plus P2 precipitation is occurring then the runoff of R1 plus R2 will be generated at the output so whenever we are using term linear response we are saying that method of superposition is valid so i hope you like this video if you really like this video you can hit that like button you can subscribe our channel let's grow for more informative videos so you can check out the description box also the link for the whatsapp group is given in the description box also if you want to join me on the linkedin the linkedin profile is given in the description box you can check out from there so thank you so much to watch this lesson till the end okay take care